Hey guys, I'm so excited to do a video for you. Um, it's been a while since I've been on here. Life has been um, crazy busy for us. Um, personally, um, my husband and me are in the process of moving um, and our kids, which is fun. But it's that's why I'm a little bit busy on top of just the regular ministry stuff. But um, I just wanted to share a quick word um, because I have really felt this from the Lord very strongly in this season. And I've had a vision and or encounter over and over and over for the past three weeks. And I know when God is, is doing something, like when he gives me a vision that many times in a row, um, usually it's not just for myself. And um, finally, I felt the release from the Lord. Holy Spirit told me, okay, you're released. You can share it now. So I'm excited this evening to just share a quick word. I don't want to take up too much time, um, but uh, I don't know about you, but often for myself, um, what I see a correlation often between what is happening in the physical realm and the spiritual realm. So there are seasons I have personally been through where God has asked me, you know, or maybe it's just maybe God didn't ask me, but I personally feel, okay, I'm going to go like work out. I need to get in better shape right now. And I'm getting in shape, I'm getting in shape. And then it's like, God's like, hey, I want you to get this in shape. So there's like a correlation between what God's doing in the physical and the spiritual often. I see that relating. And um, so this season uh, right now is <laughs> like major um, spring cleaning. I feel a lot of us are going through a spring cleaning time, um, not just uh, physically, but spiritually. And like I said, my husband and me, we're in the process of moving. Um, so... I don't know if you've ever moved before, but it's it's always really interesting, and this is our, you know, we've moved a lot, but this time we're moving like a house, which is um, interesting with a, with a young 14-month-old son. <laughs> I won't go into it long, but, you know, like today I was getting the house ready and staged for the um, realtor, and uh, I had like 10 minutes before things were supposed to happen, and um, my son had gotten a hold of a bottle of cinnamon, and right, I turned away from him, and somehow he got in the cabinet, and he got it, and you know, everywhere, and I was just like, oh. <laughs> so anyways, um, this close. sometimes it feels like close to insanity, trying to prep a house, but anyways, that's just a fun little story, but anyways, God has, um, so I feel like there's, there's a, something about this, the spring cleaning, um, with the physical and, and the spiritual, and, um, I, so here's the encounter I keep having, I'm going to share with you, it's been happening to me for the past three weeks now, um, and it's almost on a daily basis, and sometimes it's in my quiet time with the Lord, um, and sometimes also it's just at random. I'm just somewhere, and I just randomly, you know, see it. And here's what it is. I see Jesus, and he's in the garden, and I always just know in my spirit, like, it's the Garden of Gethsemane. I don't know why. I just know it, that that's what it is. But he's, so he's in the garden, and he turns and he he's on his knees and he's praying and he turns and he looks at me and he says, Anna, won't you come away with me? And he always pauses and leaves that question lingering. And then just like that, he's that's it. And every time I feel the depth of that question. I feel, I feel like it's not just a lighthearted thing um, from the Lord. I feel convicted myself um, to just go deeper with him. And just like right now, my husband and me, we talked about this the other night that we are, you know, going through all our stuff, right, of our house and deciding what, what is really important, what do we want, what do we not need, you know, what is like, it's, we don't really need it, let's box, you know, or what do we want to keep and box it up and that sort of thing. So we're going through this huge um, overtaking or cleaning out of our house. And it's like I feel the same thing from the Lord right now, this urgency of just, um, would you clean up your schedule right now? Would you take order or control over, just as I'm taking order and control over my environment physically, 
Spiritually, would you take order and control of your time, your spiritual life with Christ? That's what I'm feeling and sensing from the Lord. And so in that, um, I personally have done things where I'm cutting back from certain things and saying no to certain things and saying yes to only things I'm hearing God say because I am guarding my time with Jesus. My intimate time with Him, I'm guarding so strongly right now. And it's it's been amazing. I've been pressing in deeper with Him. I feel this urgency to just press in a little bit deeper with Him. I'm really going after intimacy right now. And as I do, God has been really meeting me. And, and, and I mean in real deep ways. Um, it's been amazing. It's been an amazing journey with Him just to go deeper and the encounters are coming at a deeper level and also it's faster right like as I go after the intimacy with him it's it's just so much faster to lock in and then just engage with Christ it's not like okay I'm I'm waiting you know to see him or I'm you know it doesn't take a long time to like just enter in it's just like boom right away I'm like there with him I'm just there and I'm just receiving from him and talking with him and being raw and real with him. And he speaks back to me and where it's like our hearts are just connecting in a deeper way. Um, there is so many words right now out there. And I feel like this isn't just for me. I feel like there's other people um, that this is for who maybe you're watching right now, but there are so many words out there right now. And I agree with them about revival coming and breakthrough. Um, this is the year of breakthrough. I mean, I've even been on here and saying that. And um, But at the same time with that, that we're declaring revival and breakthrough, let's be a people that also um, equally go after, hung we're hungry for intimacy with him. Let's not lose the intimacy with him as we're going after these things. They correlate. They go hand in hand. The intimacy, the hunger, the deeper your hunger level is, you raise that bar of hunger, boom, the higher the breakthrough, the bigger the revival that comes. If they go hand in hand, we can't lose one and just go after the other. Um, so I just felt to give this word. Okay, so when, when Jesus is in the Garden of Gethsemane, um, you know, when he's in the Garden of Gethsemane, he, uh, forgive me, my throat's scratchy because we've been moving. <laughs> Little tired. But when he's in the Garden, right, he asks his disciples, I think it's three times, he says, won't you stay awake and be with me? That place, the Garden of Gethsemane, why I think Jesus keeps meeting me there is because that was his, that is one of the most intimate times between the Father and the Son. It is so intimate. His prayer between the Father. He was so raw with the with God, right? In that moment. And he says to his disciples, won't you stay with me? Won't you be with me? And I feel like that same calling from God right now. Won't you be with me? Won't you go deeper with me? So in John, okay, John 15, right? Love this scripture. You can go there. John 15, 4, the abide in me scripture. It says, abide in me. And I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, so neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him, he bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. So let's be a people that abide in him. Make sure that we are digging our roots deep in our time with him. Let's go after it, guys. Let's raise up our level of hunger. Just as we're raising up and we want a revival breakthrough, yes, let's also raise up our level of hunger for him. Guard your time. Guard your time. And with that means cleansing out things that are taking up too much time, taking up that time, and really hedge and also put a hedge and protection around your time with Christ so that nothing else can get in the way of that intimate time with him. All right. Thanks guys. I'm going to pray really quick. Actually, before I get off here, I just want to pray. So, um, Holy spirit, I just, um, 
Oh, I just pray for those that intimacy with you, God. I pray that you would take us to a deeper level, God. I pray that our heart's cry would be to want to know you at a deeper level, Jesus. That we're not just after what you can do for us, but we're, we just want to be with you. That we're not after just the product, but we're in the process, God. We just want to be with you, Father, and know you in a deeper way, God. I pray that, I pray that myself included, I just pray for just that heart-to-heart -heart time where my heart is connecting with you, God. Your heart is connecting with me. Back and forth, I just pray that you would open uh, conversations between the sons and daughters, even the people that are listening right now, and the Father, that the conversations would just open again in times where it's felt dry. I just pray right now for somebody who's watching this right now that where you, whoa, I just feel the Holy Spirit on this. Where you have felt dry, I call forth just um, that you would not be dry anymore. Ho, oh, that Jesus, Holy Spirit, that you would just pour out, pour out, pour out, pour out, pour out love and intimacy again. And just a reconnection in Jesus' name with the Father. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Thanks, guys. Bye.